All right, we're talking with Tay Martin of the 49ers inside the Niner locker room. And I was just telling you, Tay, that I was asking one of the players the other day, give me an unsung hero in the room, and your name came up. So how's your rookie year been on the practice squad so far? It's been a great experience just being with these guys, uh, learning a lot from, um, you know, Debo and Brandon Ayuk. So it's been nice, bro, just to learn, you know, just learn as much as I can and be ready to better myself to go out and like these guys and, and you know, perform. Yeah. Um, you know, rookie receivers have a hard time contributing right away. Mm-hmm. Now that you've gone through your rookie year, can you see why? I mean, what is the transition like? Uh, typically, because se- how long the season is. Uh, in college, we only play like 11 games, maybe if you made a bowl, a bowl game. So the difference is like crazy long. Uh, you just got to prepare mentally, uh, getting ready to do it all over again, so to speak, because it's like another second half of the season. Yeah. So it's just that uh, you got to deal with it, prepare your mind to just keep going because it's a, a real long season compared to college. Um, you played for some interesting coaches. You, pl- you played for Mike Leach, didn't you? Yeah, definitely. What did you think of Coach Leach? Obviously, he passed this year, and we lost a great man. We lost a great coach and a great character. Yeah. What What What'd you think of him as a player? Man, as a, as, a, as a player, I thought he was the coolest thing ever just to have a, a coach like that with a mindset to throw the ball every play because as a receiver, I, lo- I love that. So uh, just coming in a, coming into um, college, from you know, from high school, Louisiana. So I started with Leach. So just coming out of high school, starting with Leach was a great experience. Uh, showed me the ropes as far as a receiver. I made a ton of plays because he threw the ball nearly every play. Uh, yeah. His sense of humor was, was the most funniest I ever, I ever. The pirate. They called him man, the pirate. I ever seen. Or just one of a kind for sure, man. And I'm definitely gonna miss Mike Leach, bro. And, and, and he's definitely going to be remembered forever. So, How about Mike Gundy? You played for Gundy at Oak State. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I'm a man. I'm 40. Yeah. You know? I mean, that's what, when you say Mike Gundy, that's what everybody thinks. Yeah. But what do you think of Coach Gundy? Do you have any dialogue with him at all? Uh, not really. I mean, I think he's a, he's a great coach as well. I mean, they got a great culture there uh, when I was there. I mean, I'm not sure now, but I know when I was there, it was a great program there, how they ran, how they ran it, and we won a lot of games. And, I was able to just learn some different things from them. So I'm definitely honored to be able to play with some, some great coaches. And just excited to start my NFL career with these guys. Yeah. I'm a big fan of your game, man. Uh, Appreciate it. You got great ball skills. I mean, when the ball's in the air, you, it's like you take it personally. Like, hey, that's mine. <laughs> uh, I saw you light up Notre Dame in the ball yeah. game. And they couldn't cover you at the end. I'm just kind of wondering. I see you as a major red zone threat yeah. who can make great plays. When you watch Brock doing his thing, yeah. I mean, how eager are you to get in there and do your <laughs> thing, man? Because I, I think you can score. You and Brock could hook up yeah. an awful lot. No, nah, definitely, man. I'm, I'm eager to get in, but at the same time, like, I got to realize it's the NFL now. So you kind of just got to wait your turn and, and kind of just stay dialed in and stay ready because anything's possible in this league. So. I'm, I'm definitely eager to go out there and make the same plays I've been making, you know what I mean? But it comes with time and preparation, so I'm just excited to just go out there and watch, watch Brock do what he do and, and all the other guys do, do the same thing as well. Scout team, talk to us about what scout team is about. Man, I mean, uh, like, do you, are you trying to be Lockett this week? Are you trying to be DK? So, who are you, um, who I play, are you trying to show? I was on um, DK this week uh, predominantly because I'm, I'm taller, you know what I mean? But... But it's just like every week, you know what I mean? Just going out there trying to execute the other, uh, other guys' plays and giving them the best look uh, possible. I mean, I'm playing against the number one defense in the league, you know what I mean? Number one defense I've ever played in my life. So just going out there and um, being able to prepare against guys like that every day is really helping my game. There's some guys, some questions from London they want me to ask you. Okay, so here we go. Do you have a game day superstition, whether college or pro? I know you haven't gotten in there this year, but do you have any game day superstition? Uh, not 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 really because I, I haven't really got my resume down in the NFL, but I do kind of have to listen to music. I feel like if I don't listen to music, like leading up to the game, like something's off. I yeah. Gotta, I gotta, so who, who do you like? Who, who, who are you listening to? I'm from Louisiana, so I typically listen to like um, things that get me hyped for the game, like Young Boy, you okay, know, Lil Boosie, yeah, stuff like that. But um. But yeah, I, I got to listen to and okay, okay, how about who is – now, I, asked, I I came up to you and told you that some player in here said that you were the team's unsung hero. If I said to you who's the unsung hero in this room, uh, who do you think? That's a great question. If I had to guess, 
I mean, there's a lot of guys. Yeah. A lot of guys on the team. Uh, man, it's a lot of them. For me, I mean, for me personally, it's Brock. I mean, yeah. I came in with Brock. We went to these West Ride together. So um, I seen him be Mr. Irrelevant. And, you know what I mean, just to take over and do what he did is, is kind of my unsigned hero. You know what I mean? So I took off my head with Brock. Yeah. yeah. You mentioned East West Shrine. Mm-hmm. Did you know then that he was a special player? Because he's played Definitely. he's played like a Definitely. special player. Definitely. So I knew then and I knew when we played against him at Oklahoma State. And yeah. He, what is it about him? His mentality, uh, the way he prepares, uh, the way he goes out and just plays. You know, a lot of people try to make it harder than what it is, but honestly, he's just playing a game of football. We'll be doing our, our whole life. So he just goes out there and have that same mentality he's been having since college. It's accurate, too. He puts it on your hands. Exactly. You know, uh, if you hear a quarterback talk about a receiver he likes, he'll say, man, that guy will go get it for me. Right. But if you talk about, or you talk to a receiver about a quarterback, he'll say he'll put it on you. Yeah, you know what I mean? Definitely. And, and he almost dares you. He dares you to not make a play because he, he puts it right on your hands. Definitely. Yeah. No, no, he's accurate. Pinpoint accurate. Pinpoint accurate. <laughs> All right. Best trash talker in here. Who, who, I mean, there's a lot of trash he talk. Couple, he got a couple of those. Yeah, who, who's, who's really good? Who's really good? Any, is there anybody that trash talk makes you laugh? Poe. Oh, okay, Poe. Oh, yeah. yeah. He can trash talk you to death like the whole Dude, he day. he is fun to have. Yeah, so don't All right. trash talk. Uh, best, dressed, best dressed guy in the room. Who, who, who's, who's the best dressed guy? Uh, I'm going to give that probably to Trent. Trent Williams or Debo. He typically, is just the guy with the most, you know what I mean, the most yeah, yeah. money. They yeah, kind exactly. of look like money. So. They got the drip going. I'm going to give it to them. <laughs> Locker room DJ. Locker room DJ. Uh, probably Debo or Brandon. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Uh, um, best, someone asked for the best dancer on the team. Who's the best dancer, dancer on the team? Uh, that's a good question. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, that's a good question. Yeah. I don't even know. Okay. <laughs> what are you going to do when you score your first NFL touchdown of many? What, what am I gonna do? Yeah, I mean, are you are you gonna? You got an end zone dance? You gotta, I, don't have a, I don't have an end zone dance. I kind of have like a, a ritual I do. Like, um, so, so my mom passed away when I was in high school. Right, and right. Like, so I kind of like do this thing, like call home. Yeah, that's like cool. honor honor her in a way. You know, but after that, I, I get into I get into a dance. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like after that, so. Not sure what my dance would be, but that's kind of like my, my ritual. My how did that? How did you overcome that? And, and how did that serve as a motivator? Because I mean, losing a parent in high school, you're a young man. That, that had to be hard on you. No, definitely. Uh, just being around family, like I have, having all the siblings to care for, and, and just other other family uh, members as well that kind of we came together, kind of got through it. Uh, have amazing mentor who stuck with me the whole the entire way, made sure my hair was on. So there's people in my life that stayed in my car and made sure I was well in. Is there a guy in this room that's helped you a lot this year? Like just develop as a player or maybe just off the field? Do you have a, somebody on this team that, man, you'd say, man, I'm really grateful that guy's helped me this year? Yeah, it's a couple, honestly. I mean, even it can be only, it can, it can be small remarks. They can tell me yeah. that it goes a long way in my eyes. Uh, I can name from, from Flanagan to Jermaine Jennings. Debo, you know, all, the, all those guys really told me, like, some small stuff to really help my game. Even Robbie, you know what I mean? If I'm running down there and kick off, he'll tell me some small stuff to take my game. So, honestly, this whole, this whole locker room was willing to help, help the rookies, and, and I love that around here. Good vibe in here. Yeah. Last one. What would it mean to you, even on the practice squad, to get that Super Bowl ring this year? What would it mean to you to play in that – to, you know, to see this team win it all? Uh, it would mean the world to me. I mean, that's, that's kind of what, why we play the sport we do. Kind of what we grew up thinking about, dreaming about. So just, uh, I think being in that conversation to me is kind of like one of the things. It's like I'm still dreaming in a way. But, um, shit, that would mean that would mean everything to me. To be one of those. And, you be know awesome, I mean? man. It'd be awesome. Hey, man, pleasure. Pleasure. Thank you. Tay Martin, everybody. Big play Tay. Look for this guy. Yes, sir.